Hey, what's up, people? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, the technical difficulties this time was this god dang light switch. Uh, I tried to have some sort of cool light switch to be able to help with this all stuff. And it's just, it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. We'll, that's at least not technical difficulties with the stream. But we're used to this if y'all have been here for any other sort of time. So what's up, people? Uh, we are going to get right into a live stream uh, and get a Q&A going. I want to see who's here, what kind of people we got, all the familiar faces. Uh, Almiri, Andrew, Tucker, Ben, Ben, Ben Apotamus. <laughs> Love the name. Ben Eponymous, uh, a, a recent Platinum Dragon uh, supporter. Shout out to Ben right there. What's up, Ben? Uh, and speaking of Ben's, we got Big Bing McDeuce, Ace Double Zero, Bold Not Bald, Crack a Day, Cody, Dice and Decisions. Ooh, Dice and Decisions. Uh, I can't wait for some people's names to be a play on words of DC 20 instead of Dungeons and Dragons. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many on Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so Dyson Decisions that made me think of that because that'll be a crazy time. Uh, just like it'll be a crazy time when there's a YouTube channel started for DC 20 only stuff, which there are some people that have uh, already fully jumped in and just make DC 20 content. Uh, so that's also crazy too. So there's a little rabbit hole we just went down together. Woo! Uh, Dreamweaver, Does Media Lie, Eugene, Garrett. What's up, Garrett? General Mineral. Uh, guy to help with the logo. What's up, General Mineral? Graydon, Half Drank OJ, Hayes, I Am Dollop, Ironside, Ivan Green Gaming, Jakku, Jason, Kyle, Liam, Lower Jam, Lower Jam, Mini Warlord. Yep, Mini Commander now. Sorry, you uh, Mini Warlord, you need to change your name to Mini Commander because the Warlord's class has been changed to Commander. So, got to get up to date, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Nahuel Salmon, uh, Nightbots here, uh, Moon, Ocarus, Akin, Omnicun, Omni, um, Ominous Threat, PHR Bex, Power Hungry, Roberts, Sing and Smash, Synthetic Pacifist, Ted, Cosmic Parade, Wholesome Cultist. Aren't all cultists wholesome? You know, maybe? I don't know. I I, whoa, that's weird. Uh, Tyler, Vanilla, Gorilla, uh, Whip Blade. Wolves is here, thank God, because we are going to dive into the Q&A real quick right now. Uh, and Zanzia, let's go. Philip Fowler, I think, slipped through the cracks there. Marcus Jones, let's go. There's all my people. We're all here. Um, and we already have three super chats. So that's crazy, so we'll get into that too. Uh, uh, I tried Omnicon. Yes, you are a familiar face. No, no worries. I am Dollop. What's up? Good day. Good day, mate. Oh, I'm Dollop. Uh, what we going over tonight? Um, I, you know what? I do have, I do have a, um, I do have a question. I, I do want to start off the live stream, uh, with a question, uh, because this question, I'm going to pose it early, just like I do all the questions and the feedback polls in the live streams. I do a lot of feedback polls on patrons. I do some community polls, uh, but these live stream polls are also another special little layer here. We are going to do a community poll. It's honestly, honestly, like full disclosure, it's not going to be that exciting of one, uh, but it has to do with the action trackers, baby. The good old action trackers. Uh, we are going to have a question about them. Uh, the prototypes of them are being made this week. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This is version one. Uh, we got an even better version coming out uh, with some uh, more premium materials, uh, better engraving processes. We're going to move some stuff around. It's got the new logo. It's got some, you know, uh, it's pretty nice. And I'm going to get multiple different stains of wood. I think I might have like a gray and black version and then like a wood version. Whoo. Woo! It's gonna be crazy. Uh, so heck yeah. Um, differ from platform to platform. Uh, so the community polls, no, I mean, all of them are separate, Nico. Uh, like if I do a patron poll, it's just pretty much do that. Uh, sometimes if it's like wildly important, I might do one across everything, but uh, I don't think I've done that as far as that goes. I wanna, I, I mainly those really mega important ones I do to patrons because that's part of the whole people of why this is even possible in the freaking first place. Um, so heck yeah, Discord also. Yep, 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 yep. Um, threat, that fix, uh, threat, what? That, that fixes uh, 0.7. Oh, uh, Paladin's still looking at the core rule book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Paladin will be removed. Uh, in 0 0.7, the Paladin will be moved to the back of the book. Um, It'll just be in the last chapter. We said this is now a cut class, and I'll have a little paragraph as to why, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, no worries there. And I'll talk about the spell blade in that little spot as well. So yes, um, so um, four action points. What four action points? Oh yeah, okay, you know what? Let, we're gonna get right into the questions because we have some questions. Uh, so right now uh, we will start with the hashtag questions. Ask your questions. Uh, Liam's got a question. I got three questions already right here from other super chats. So if you're unfamiliar with how this works, uh, I am going to try and be as a efficient as I've ever been tonight 
with super chats. I'm going to go bang them out. Um, so go ahead and ask your questions. I am going to do the poll that I just talked about here as well. Uh, and we'll, we'll dive into that. So how this whole thing works is uh, at the end of every live stream, I do a giveaway of, the, of a copy of DC 20s alpha. And um, uh, if every quarter of the way through here, uh, I'm going to also add on to that. And at some point, which uh, we'll see as we get closer and closer, but this will change to the copies of the DC 20 beta. And that's gonna be a whole nother thing of what the, what these live streams evolve into as far as rewards are concerned. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but um, the, uh, oh yeah, uh, ask your questions. I'll answer them in the order I get them. Super Chats jump to the front of the line. So appreciate the port of, so appreciate, so appreciate the port appreciate the support of the stream especially down the wire now as we head towards the kickstart in this final month and a half leading up to it uh it's crunch time and things are ever i'm just I have, i'm just looking for gasoline to pour under the fire and we'll see how we can go right um so um uh and then oh man alfred i'll start off with alfred's question alfred miller of the super chat says what's up coach just saying hi uh to you and the folks on the stream Alfred, oh God, dude, Alfred, I want to meet you in person, dude. I just want to like shake your hand and give you a freaking big bear hug, dude. Oh, I just feel like that would just, that would just, it would, it would feel right because you are just such a freaking uh, teddy bear uh, pillar of the community of just, of just such, such a, such a nice dude. Always just coming in and just spreading love, dude. Oh man. Oh man. I feel what a great way to start the stream off y'all. Oh, what a great way to start the stream off y'all. Um, okay. So, uh, before I get into the other super chats, uh, I am going to do the, the poll right here, right? Uh, so let me do this poll. Where's my poll? So add, start a poll, uh, action tracker, action tracker price point. That is the question. That is the question. Uh, let me see the numbers here. Okay, cool. And then, okay, cool. And then uh, add option, add option. Oh, whoops. Okay, add option. Uh, so that's going to be... Uh, and then that's going to be... And then that's going to be... And then that's going to be deleted. Okay, cool. All right, so um, here is the question, you guys. And here's the question I want to ask you guys um, is... Uh, let, me, let me bring this back up so I can make sure I'm seeing I'm doing this all right here. Okay. Um, what I'm wanting to know, and I'm needing feedback from you guys right here, and I want you to think about this and answer it honestly and purely. Uh, what does this cost? What is the price point of this action tracker? This is a wooden action tracker, so it's not like 3D, 3D printed, you know, stuff like that. It would be cheaper and all that kind of stuff. This is this is nice wood like s solid freaking wood stuff going on here right uh these are actual magnets that have to be you know, humans are going to have to be Im implementing and doing certain things here right um uh that is going to be uh five different buttons here that all slide and click in with some with some nice you know let me get the ooh, ooh. you know what i'm saying that, that nice little clickety clacks right um so what is the price point here right um Wow. Wow. Y'all are saying 15 bucks. Um, that's, that's, that's going to, that's going to be very interesting whenever we have the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, when the poll, when the poll comes out here. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me see. So, oh, wait. I can't add, it's, it's freaking out with these numbers that I'm adding in here. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, okay. There. Okay. There. Okay. There we go. And then there we go. And then there we go. And then can I add, I can only do that many? That's crazy. That's weird. All right. So we'll do that, that, and that. All right. And then I can delete this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I can't even do the, I can't do all the numbers I'm wanting. It's like bouncing all around, right? Um, okay, cool. So there's that, there's that. And okay, now I can delete this. There we go. Okay, wow. All right. So um, here's the thing. First of all, the numbers y'all are throwing out there, <laughs> um is pretty crazy uh uh the the it would it costs about as much as what y'all are saying to make these in general uh like the cost to make this is what y'all are proposing <laughs> um y'all are saying like 5 10 even 15 that's pretty much the cost of what it takes to make these at all much less the cost of the process of setting up with a person and getting the orders and having them paying them to draft up the design for this that I've been going back and forth with for about 
a month and a half now uh, to print out samples and to do the thing and to test and make a custom situation and then print them off and make them and then assemble them. All of that stuff uh, is going to get you there. And then we have to ship these things. And if you didn't know this about shipping, uh, books are considered media mail and shipping books is like no problem whatsoever. Um, my wife always texts me. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, uh, 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 what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So uh, on top of all of that, it's not a book. And then if if you add this to an order, it now becomes not a book. And then that costs uh, things as well as far as uh, shipping costs are concerned. But that's, I guess, a separate situation. So anyway, um, with this in mind, <laughs> uh, the other aspect of this is um, this is only going to probably be a run during the Kickstarter uh, because I can't uh, at the spot of where I'm at right now, if I could order 10,000 of these, Oh, heck yeah. If I could order 10,000 of these, oh, the price point comes down, you get the idea. But it's not, it's, I, I am not in the position to do that. Now, maybe if this Kickstarter does well and things are booming and banging for the DC 20 world, then yes, we can start to do these bigger, bigger moves and, and bring costs down and stuff like that, right? So anyway, um, so that is uh, uh, just a little tip of the iceberg type of things here. I am not a full blown company that can get the cost point of these down. So if other people were making these, they could make them for cheaper. That's just how uh, money and businesses work, right? So uh, it, and eventually I wanna bring these price points down. So whatever price point we're about to vote on here, this price point will probably go down uh, over time, or at least I could try and have like an a, a, uh, entry level option and a premium option or something like that, right? So anyway, the other thing I want you to keep in mind, and I, whenever you answer this, I don't just want y'all to pick the cheapest option because it's the cheapest option, because I want you to think about the health and longevity of the game, because that's also why I'm asking it to people who, uh, I'm not just doing some random community poll, I wanted to do it like to the people that actually care about DC20, because this is also, I want to to try and price point this in a spot where it sets up DC20 to be able to go and do and, and more. Because the better the Kickstarter does, the better the, the, the more people I can add to the team, the more people I can hire to bring in, the better stuff gets across the board. So yes, you might pay an extra 10 bucks uh, for this thing, but if that's the case, then maybe the game's in a better spot overall. So anyway, uh, here's the poll. Uh, so the, the, the three price points I wanna test with you guys right now is $25, $35, $45 uh, for the action tracker. I know it looks super small and all this other kind of stuff, but I wanna see uh, what y'all's thoughts are. Wait, why is it not showing anything? It's not showing any votes. What? What? It's not showing any votes at all. My whole thing is vote isn't going through. Vote isn't going through. Okay, so I'm going to end the poll. All right, that's weird. Yeah, no votes happened. Okay, so maybe I, I left it up for too long. Start a poll. Action. Uh, tracker price. I told y'all I was doing some weird stuff. So we got 25, 35. I'm gonna add an option of 45, start the poll. An error occurred, try again, start the poll. An error occurred, try it again. Okay, that's weird. Let's try something else, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna, oh, actually I'm gonna do it from right here. I'm gonna do it from right here, start the poll. Uh, action tracker, uh, 35, or 25. 35, 45, start poll. Error occurred, try again. Wow, okay, great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> so uh, I don't think that's gonna be possible. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Interesting. So we'll do this. Straw poll, can I do a straw poll? Uh, straw poll, yep. All right, we're gonna do a straw poll. Uh, title is action tracker. Answer option one is 25. Oh, you know what? Add option, add option, add option. So now I can do more. Ha <laughs> ha. Forget you, YouTube. We, we, we beat the system just now. You thought, you thought, um, add option. All right, cool. So there we go. Uh, and I think that's going to be good now. Create a poll, allow multiple selections, names, no, voting security, block VP. Okay, so just create the poll. All right, so I'm going to link this poll uh, your admin are only temporary claim permanent admin. What? All right. Uh, I'm just going to link this and see if this works. See if this straw poll works. Now let me find the freaking chat now. What? What is going on, YouTube? All right, here we go. All right, I'm posting in the chat. There we go. 
I want to see. I want to see uh, uh, if this works as a backup. We've never had to do it. the 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 polls have never failed me. Polls have never failed me, but now they're failing me. I want to see what's going on. Um, YouTube is drunk. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it says. Uh, uh, it says that the current viewers right now on the stream is seven people. So I, I think that's uh, off now as well. So that's strange. Very strange. Um, had to leave for a bit. That worked for me. It worked? Okay. So now let's see. Uh, show results. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Okay. So cool. Now this we can just do this like right here. Uh, I can like bring this over. I can bring this up here, bring this down there. Okay, this 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 took way way too longer than what I was what I was hoping for. Oh man! All right, so there's there we go. All right, let's see let's see what we got. All right, that's what we're looking at here. So cool. Twenty five thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, you can't even buy a D and D player's handbook for twenty uh PHP PHP. Um. Would always want to get enough for every player. It's difficult to justify when you would always want to just um, saying one off five. Share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30, 100 for four. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the bundle I could maybe start to get uh, the 25 situation. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and ultimately, the, the, point, the point where I'm going to be going out on a limb here too is since I don't know how good the Kickstarter is going to do, I have already kind of like uh, crossed my fingers for for that, uh, but because uh, I'm if if the Kickstarter doesn't do well and I only can order a certain amount, then it's going to be a lot for the cost per or whatever, and then that's the, that obviously that would be not ideal. But anyway, there is there's that. There we go. Um, uh, and for a lot of you people out there wondering, there are going to be seven different reward tiers on the Kickstarter. Uh, there's going to be seven different reward tiers. The second to biggest one, like the the top two, the top one is like a legendary, legendary, uh, uh, legendary tier. Absolutely crazy. I only see a very, very small amount of handful of people doing that one uh, almost in, in, intentionally slow. Like I just wanted to create an option for people to just go absolutely nuts and then have the whole spectrum of tiers all the way in between there. Right. Uh, and every single one is providing more and more value and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be even more value than the Alcanor's Almanac was. I, I got I got you guys taken care of. I learned so much and listened to you guys so much uh, from the first Kickstarter. So I've, I've, I know how to do it now right um but the second to biggest tier is a group bundle tier it is a group a deluxe group uh bundle i think is what i'm gonna call it uh and it is multiple books multiple action trackers multiple sets of dice uh multiple uh, every single thing that you possibly could all the digital stuff uh, all of that uh, is all going to be there uh as far as that goes so uh that is going to be a good tier for like groups to be like hey your group wants to do this cool your group comes together and buys a, a whole situation so there you go anyway um there's that that's out of the way now uh let me go let me go to oh my gosh liam uh liam oh no uh we missed liam's super chat oh can i see community moderation super chats top chat Oh, I can see this. I can see fan funding. There we go. Ah, now I see it. Okay, cool. So uh, now it's time to go into the questions. And I'm going to try and be hydration check. Huh. Ah. Ooh, all right. Um, the, uh, I'm going to try and be as efficient as I can here to answer as many questions as possible. And that's going to be my goal for this stream is to be even more efficient, right? So uh, to, get the, to get through the super chats that happened before the stream even started, uh, Liam has a question that says, Mr. Coach, <laughs> uh, Liam from 4 Action Point News, can you comment on the uses of grip points in 0 0.7? <laughs> Liam's role playing a news broadcaster. I love it. Uh, so the what I will say to that, because it's a super chat, so thank you. Uh, thank you for that live chat. There we go. Uh, thank you for that. Um, is um, uh, grit points in 0 0.7 will have a new option, a second option uh, that could ha that has to deal with the reducing the damage you take by a, by a little bit, like reducing the, the damage you take by one, 
something simple like that. Another application of grit, because sometimes saves is a very specific thing and that you could go an entire session and not make a saving throw, or like not have a save have happen, right? Um, so uh, th this is another option and another way to kind of uh, uh, get that across. But that's all, that's all I can say about 0 0.7 stuff you all trying to get some freaking uh uh, uh, <laughs> uh uh get some sneak peeks in there i see you i see you all right cool um and then uh what's next uh oh there's another super chat from peter peter says does monk scorpion stance unarmed strike uh against uh up for opportunity attacks cost one ap per target yes 100 percent, it costs one ap per target but here's the other thing is every you can only use one action for, um, uh, per uh, trigger, right? One reaction per trigger. So whenever something happens, if they cause you to be able to take a reaction, uh, you would see that and then, oh, I spend it and I attack that target. If another one leaves, sure. And if another one leaves, sure. So I mean, you can make multiple, but you're spending one action point each time. You don't just get to make some AOE opportunity attack. Yeah. Um, and then another question is uh, one stamina point for any martial maneuver. Does that include save, grapple, defense, and weapon maneuvers too? Yes. Um, you can use stamina points. You can spend one stamina point in place of action points for maneuvers. All maneuvers, right? Any maneuver, right? Not just attack maneuvers, right? Cool. Uh, there's those questions. And then Joe, Joe M says... Here's some love, and I'll see you in the VOD. Joe M coming in. Freaking love it. I appreciate you, Joe M. Appreciate you, Joe M. Um, and then uh, brutalized instead of well-bloodied, uh, Hector. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, brutalized. I feel like brutalized is too close to the word brutal. And bloodied, well-bloodied is much more smooth than uh, brutalized. But I don't know if you're being serious with that question. Uh, so heck yeah. All right, so um, let's go. Uh, we're diving back now. We have this, we have that. We have all those questions. We are good now. I can bring down the chat and make it even longer here. All right, there we go. We're moving. So uh, the next question. We are from the Wholesome Cultist. What's up, Wholesome Cultist? Uh, question. Hey, I saw the new armor update video and was unfortunately disappointed in the light armor mod. Is there any way we can get the mod specialized in higher decks rather than punishing it? Wait, what? Is there any way we can get a mod that specializes in higher decks rather than punishing it? Okay, so that's one thing is the whole point of that thing is to... Uh, right now, dexterity... We, you don't want to reward stacking agility with being able to have more cool things. Whoa, like that's your thing. So one thing I want everyone to also understand, because there's some other talks about the, uh, the concept of a choice and, and armor and other stuff like that. Um, so um, the big picture here, as far as, let me, let me even, I'll even, I'll pull it up so we can all, all be on the same page here if y'all aren't like, you know, uh, rules, rules lawyers and you like know the rules in and out, right? Because uh, there's a reinforced, there's a reinforced armor, which both armors can use. And then light armor has one and heavy armor has one, right? So uh, that's kind of the situation we're talking about here. And then there it is. All right. So let me switch over to here. There we go. So um, this is the topic right here. This is the, th the thing in question, this whole screen right there. So reinforced, it reinforces the armor, increases your armor by one. And then, but the amount of agility uh, is decreased by your prime modifier, right? So uh, minus two. So normally you can add your full agility to your defense, right? Whether you're wearing heavy armor, light armor, whatever, you can normally add your full agility. But if you use this modification, it takes the prime minus two, and that's the amount of agility you can you can add to your to your weapons or <laughs> weapons armor. That's the amount of agility you're able to add to your defense. So what the wholesome cultist is saying is can you get a mod that specializes in higher decks well first of all another mod would just add more complication to this and make it one much more complicated and that's already uh something that i dabbled with three mod modifications is too complicated uh so that would be a no in that regard uh, but then another thing about this is getting specialized in higher decks rewarding somebody for specializing in higher decks which agility is i think the the word for dc20 that's already the reward if you have maxed out maxed out agility your reward is you have the highest physical defense possible and physical defense is very strong the whole reason why the armor system is implemented with these changes is to fix that problem because that is a problem agility being king 
is a problem. We already see it with dexterity in D&D. Um, de de dexterity is with your initiative checks, dexterity saving throws, your armor class, all this stuff revolves around agility, Woof, right? Um, so it can't, it can't be that strong. I think it's a problem for it to be that strong. So this armor fixes that problem. And the proposal you're saying would undo that purposeful fix of gating agility so that characters don't feel like they have to max agility. Here's the example. If you want to make a wizard class and you want to make the stereotypical wizard, the super intelligent wizard, like let's say you want to make that character. If you want to make that character, you all right, cool, I'm going to put max out agility. And what about my other stats? What about charisma? What about agility? What about might? If I don't keep agility in check, that wizard no longer has a choice anymore. It would be an illusion of a choice. Charisma and might would have no comparison to agility. Agility is king. Everyone would make sure they have high agility. Every character in the game's second stat or first stat would just be agility, right? So ah, it's, it's, it, you, you, you don't want agility to be king like that. You just don't. So that's what this armor system is doing. I'm going to have... Uh, well, actually, I know I, I, I said most of those points in, in the video, uh, but let me see. The Wholesome Cult has said this. So the, the mod for light feels like it's just worse than heavy. Yes, and the mod for light armor feels like it's worse than heavy armor because it should be. That's also a purposeful point. Heavy armor is better than light armor, period. Like heavy armor should be better than light armor. That's a, a tactical, purposeful decision. Now, if you disagree with that, then you should like a lot of these changes that we've made because in the original 0.4 version of DC 20, heavy armor got plus three physical defense and had one damage reduction and everything else is all the same. And every single patch, it's gone down. So now heavy armor should be, it's now one-to-one -one as far as physical defense goes. You put stuff on your body to protect you, cool. Physical or uh, heavy armor adds physical damage reduction, and that takes it to where heavy armor is one notch better. It's not multiple notches better, because I think that's not, uh, I tried that. I tried that, that was the initial uh, design intent there. I could go on about why I don't think that's good, but now heavy armor is one notch better, which is where it should be, because um, heavy armor should be more defensive than light armor, right? Um, so there's that. Um, and then uh, Kyle, we got two more super chats. Kyle, uh, is 0 0.7 uh, the beta or is it before the Kickstarter? Uh, great, 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 great question. Um, so how this timeline is going to look is June 4th. Uh, June 4th is the launch of the DC20 Kickstarter. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying, wildly stressful and exciting all at the same time. Um, so June 4th is the launch of the Kickstarter. My goal is to get the 0 0.7 alpha out before that it might be out the day before that just for the record um but it's going to go out before the kickstarter is what my absolute goal is this is the launch the 0 0.7 alpha will be the last alpha right and the, the alpha will no longer be updated that's the alpha there is going to be like a uh, uh srd of the game like a free access like hey here's a sneak peek to the rules like if you can show your friends and it's like a free pdf of like that there's going to be a smaller you know levels one and two of the game the basic rules all that kind of stuff that's going to also be there right so there's going to be a freely available open like low le like levels one and two sneak peek of the rules there'll be the 0 0.7 alpha which has a bunch of stuff in it that won't even might not even be in the full game right um things like uh some of the subclasses that you might see some of the some of the classes that you'll see all that kind of stuff there's going to be that there's going to be stuff in the 0 0.7 alpha that does not make it into the core game right so that's so some content will be unique there right and then the 0 0.8 is the first beta and that's going to be behind the kickstarter the kickstarter backers all kickstarter backers get access to the beta and that's a free thing if you back the kickstarter you are in the beta right that is the unique thing there now there's going to be other options there's going to be other ways to get it there's the, that's or sorry for the beta that's going to be that the way to be able to have the beta and get updates to 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, all that kind of stuff um, is going to be through the Kickstarter. All beta stuff is through the Kickstarter, but there's that. Um, so cool, there you go, Kyle. Um, and then Wheeler, Wheeler, Wheeler777, jackpot with a huge super chat, bro. Thank you, bro. Hey, coach, Jesus wanted me... <laughs> Jesus wanted me to tell you that he'd like the Shaman class released with the next update. Just saying, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Jesus said that he wants to see the shaman class. 
<laughs> well, Wheeler, Wheeler 777. Uh, uh, I don't think there's a chance uh, for that to happen. Uh, so I'm going to have to tell Jesus, uh, uh, I'm so sorry uh, that the shaman will not make it into the next. <laughs> Um, uh, the sp I got the spell blade is already on the docket for the next class that's going to be in the mix of rework of, of, of releasing things and whatnot. Um, the spell blade might make it into uh, the core rule book, might not. We'll see how the Kickstarter does and stuff. Uh, but the shaman is already planned for an expansion uh, that has to deal with shamans and some other uh, totemic things and uh, lots of stuff. So don't you worry, the shaman and Wheeler. I already know you're a patron, and I already know uh, you're you're going to be in the in the loop for all of this. Uh, but uh, all the. Patrons are going to get the DC 20 magazine and the DC 20 magazine is going to have a lot of the early access material like Wheeler's talking about and early access to the shaman, possibly years uh, before it's actual full release. So there's that. Um, that's what's up. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, and Liam, another super chat from Liam, uh, failing a skill challenge, right? Combat minus one HP, expiration minus one rest point, social minus one grit or disadvantage on your next charisma check if you have no grit thoughts. Yeah, like Liam, that's 100%. That's a hundred percent. The types. Oh, whoa! What the heck? Pop up. What? Okay. Uh, click. Okay. Um, that's one hundred percent. Is something that is is it on, in line with what skill challenges are all about, right? Uh, yes. That is, and I actually have a skill challenge video. I have a skill challenge video coming out. Um, uh, two weeks from now. So yes, uh, you are, you are on the right track. Um, uh, there's going to be the different skill challenges will have different punishments for those different types of things, right? Different setbacks, depending on what the thing is. It could be story-based. It could be mechanic-based like what you just proposed. Um, but yeah, heck yeah. I love that. Um, so, uh, you are on the right track. I'll say that right there, buddy. Um, and then Shonen, Shonen, whoa, Shonen, uh, can there be a heavy armor mod to increase might requirement for higher PD investing in both might and agility for a higher possible, uh, PD makes sense. Uh, so the, the biggest thing here with these, uh, with the armor modification stuff is, um, I don't want there, I don't see a, oh, higher might. I don't see a modification where, oh, higher might gets you something and all that kind of stuff, right? I could see dungeon masters making armor that has that requirement on there that has higher armor. Yeah, that's the, you know, that type of stuff. I see that happening easily, absolutely easily. Um, another thing that is in the works that I'll say right now is a potential uh, situation. I don't know. See, these, these are the, we're, we're entering into the very edge of like, this is a, this is like alpha type thoughts, sneak peek. So I'm going to say this, right. But there's a potential thing that's floating around my head about how, um, you're able to add an amount of agility to your armor based on your might. So the more might you have, the more agility that you can add to your armor. So if you have a might of zero, you can add as much. Uh, um, uh, sorry, if you have a might of one and you're wearing heavy armor, because you have to have at least one uh, might to wear heavy armor. So if you have a might of one and you put on heavy armor and your agility, let's say your agility is three. But if you put have a, only a might of one and you put on heavy armor, you can only add one, even though your agility is three, which is what you're kind of saying. Right. But then if you increase your might to two, oof, now you can add two. If you increase your might to three, now you can add your full agility. That is something that is on the docket uh, for some thoughts here. OK, what my wife is blowing me up. Right. Um, there we go. OK, cool. Um, there's that. Um, and also, uh, uh, it's, it's so weird right now because YouTube says there's only five people watching. My wife texted me and says only four people are watching. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm talking to more than four people. So that's what's so confusing right now. YouTube's freaking out. So we actually have no idea how many people are here. Uh, but I don't care how many people are here. I care about the people that are here. Uh, so heck yeah. All right. Anyway, um, and then uh, let's keep it rolling back for the questions. Um, oh, gosh. Shonen. Shonen with another super chat. Thanks. Keep it up. Hydration fee. Speaking of hydration fee, I'm going to pay my hydration fee. There we go. There we go, Kyle. Um, Kyle with a super chat. Uh, do you have someone on your team working on Foundry VTT integration? If not, 
Would you mind if someone worked on it uh, and sent you verification? Wait, do, would you mind if someone worked on it and sent you verification? Thanks. So yes, I have a full digital team that is working on all of that. On Discord, I just uh, last week, I uh, posted a poll for just the, my, my digital team is asking about VTT stuff, integrations, uh, digital character creator, a, uh, a an app, a DC20 app, you guys, a DC20 app for Android and iOS, a DC20 website integration of a, of a catalog, digital character sheet, all the digital things are being worked on as we speak and have been for a while. So uh, that is, that's what's up. Oh my gosh, okay, so uh, Sarah Bjorken is the the dungeon wife. Uh, she should change her YouTube handle to, to that and get herself a logo or something. I got to get her set up. We got to get her set up. Um, but uh, yeah, so she's here. So there are already more more than uh, four people. So there's that. <laughs> um, YouTube has figured out I'm not a real person. <laughs> Nathan, they're not counting you. They're not counting you. Um, and Dyson Decisions, thanks for saying don't forget to like the video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like the stream. Am I, am I real? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So yeah, uh, so there's that. There's that. So Kyle, we got you. We got you, bro. All right, to the questions. To the questions, I'm trying to be efficient. Stay focused, focus, coach, focus. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Bell has a question. What percentage of the DC 20s uh, world's druids are capybara beast folk? Rough percentage around two decimal points. <laughs> what? what percentage of DC 20 to DC 20 world's druids are capybara beast folk? Oh my gosh. So Tyler Bell, I wonder, did you watch my patron only uh, Curse of Strahd live games. Are you one of those people to know about the capybara and their presence in uh, being wild shaped forcefully into capybara and the entire party turned into capybara for a little bit and started eating grass and you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, percentage? 1% because there's so many beasts in DC 20 for you to transform into. <laughs> uh, no, I have not watched that. Then Tyler, that is a wild coincidence. And when I say wild coincidence, I mean wild. See what I did there? Druid, wild, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, uh, are there regular critters in the DC 20 universe? Yes, it's not just a bunch of wild animals. There's, there's small animals, medium sized animals, large animals, all sorts of animals, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Jakku. Question, uh, what is expected adventuring day of DC 20? How many encounters should we uh, try and put our players through? Yeah, so that's going to be, um, um, all of that is going to be um, uh, elaborated on in the Game Master's Guide. The Game Master's Guide is going to be um, um, uh, a, a, a next the next Kickstarter, right? Um, but in general, as far as an adventuring day, I don't, I'm, I've, I personally as a dungeon master have never really heavily focused on the adventuring day, like as a concept, like the adventuring day. Um, uh, it's going to be something that I make sure to give uh, tools out for and give recommendations for and all that kind of stuff, uh, for sure. But, uh, the, the encounters are going to kind of be, uh, on a, we'll even just call them small, medium, large. They're going to be different words. They're not going to be small, medium, large and like deadly or whatever. Um, but you're going to have a range of, uh, of, of trials to put them through, whether that be a skill challenge or it be a combat or it be other things, right? Um, you can put them through all those types of things, uh, traps, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you'll wear them down a certain amount and that will be, uh, recommended. But I would say, uh, in general, there would be like one super hard combat, uh, and like two medium, medium sized ones is kind of what I would just in the middle of a live stream kind of say, just to give you some sort of guidance. Uh, in general, that's my recommendation. Even like game master tips is where we're kind of entering into now as well. Uh, there will be a systemized uh, system for, you know, adventuring day type concepts for you to be able to, you know, have a bunch of small ones or one massive one. And like, you know, you mix and match and stuff. But in general, I usually have one medium sized combat one medium sized challenge, like a skill challenge of some sort. And then one like, oh, wow, it's a big combat right here, you know. Um, but again, I'm not too worried about adventuring days in that regard. And I also think that the uh, rest system in DC 20 is going to allow you to be able to control that knob as a game master, because there are some times where I want to put that knob in there and be like, ooh, let's let's limit their resources. Ha 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 ha. And then there's sometimes where I'm like, hey, let's go freaking have an encounter and you're at full health and you're going to have one encounter today and that's it. And that's sometimes OK, too. Right. So uh, anyway, um, there's that. But I I, I I oh, Shonen, thank you for the super chat. And you said nothing. I don't know if you meant to say nothing. So if you didn't mean to say nothing, 
uh, ping me or something uh, in, in Discord. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope that answers your question in some way, shape, or form, at least as, as vague as I can right now uh, at, the, at the stage we're at. Uh, and then, yeah, cool. Um, uh, the, uh, the Wholesome Cultist, another question. Any chance the Spellblade could have two subclasses? One for their spell list and one for how they express their magic given some absolute wild builds. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's... Pff, oh, my gosh. Uh, the Spellblade's going to have a plenty, plenty of subclasses. And the Spellblade is going to express how they have their magic in lots of different ways, too. Uh, which I cannot wait to talk to you guys about the Spellblade. The lore of the Spellblade, how they hit their magic, uh, how they... Ca oh, man. I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Uh, it's really coming together. So, yeah. I got you, Wholesome Cultist. Uh, and then Jay Doms with a super chat. Hey, Coach. Loving DC20. Uh, my party just hit level two in my campaign. It's a serious power-up. Multiclassing in DC20 is opening so many doors. Keep it up. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. I just, it's so awesome to think about. Because I have, I have it in my table. Like I see my own players do it. And... Uh, it was super cool to see my own players do it because it was it was some hard choices. Uh, my two min maxer players were like, "Oh man, ooh, what do I do? I could do this, I could do that, I could do this." And I literally had uh, uh, one of my players. He's the one that plays the monk, uh, and he he went back and forth between three features multiple times. The week that we leveled up, he texted me back and forth, back forth, back forth, and the day of, he changed it back again. He's like, I just can't decide. I was like, honestly, it feels so great to me right now that you can't decide because that means there's multiple good options, and you got to pick which good option you want. That's I just got chills. That's that's it, right? Um, so uh, I think we really uh, have uh, struck gold with with that with that system right there, which is such a huge system to to do right, right? So I love that, and I love that there's that J Doms is running a group out there, and J Doms has so however many players that got to do the multi-classing and see where they could go and change and customize their character with. Mm, let's go. Uh, will the DMs got to have a trap puzzle builder? Yes, uh, there will be a hundred percent support for. Uh, uh, riddle, riddles, yeah, riddles, traps, puzzles, yes, uh, that's gonna for sure be uh, something that's taken care of, 100%, right? Um, two subclasses at once. I meant two subclasses at once. Um, so there won't be the, the spell blade will not be two subclasses at once. You will have at upon choosing a spell blade, you will be able to have where you got your magic from. You will choose kind of how that you got your magic. That is going to be something that already is just a spell blade thing in the first place, right? So there's that. Um, and then um, your subclass obviously will, you know, go and do subclass things for sure. Um, so heck yeah. Uh, DMs Keep, what's up, buddy? Um, uh, subscribe, I have heard of YouTube. Oh, yeah. YouTube unsubscribing people. That's happened to me before. I'm like, I swear I subscribed to this person. And then there you go. Um, so cool. Oh, J Dom says J Dom's a follow up to that super chat says we have a wizard warlock, a fighter warlord, a rogue barbarian, and a bard that just took spellcasting expansion. Yes, I love it. Love it. Hard to choose. So many great options. Ah, that's great. Uh, Al Murray, uh, question, anything you can share about monk subclasses this week? I'll make it easy and focus on Sun Soul theme since you have the DVZ shirt. <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay, because Al Murray, I, per I know I'm saying your name wrong, but I'm purposely trying to say it different every time, and I think it's our, it's our thing now. So because Amul, Amul Ray, Amul Ray, um, ask this i'm going to go to the subclass document i'm not going to show this on stream right now this is a uh a, a patron perk tomorrow wednesday mornings every wednesday morning uh patrons we do a live stream where we build out subclasses for every single subclass um so uh this the monk right now uh has had has not gotten distilled down so i'm going to throw out some ideas and this is uh, now okay I'm, I'm just saying I'm going to be saying a bunch of just ideas for DC 20 monk subclasses. Don't go crazy and think that I'm announcing the list, the full, the subclass list. like these have not been combined and condensed and all that kind of stuff. So uh, potential subclass concepts for the monk ninja shadow monk 
uh, a weapon based Kensai monk, uh, a key blocking monk, a monk that deals with pressure points and, and focused strikes and hits on certain pressure points to block the key and or magic and or strength and or certain things uh, of their enemies. And you know, you know that the fancy I'm going for is that monk that goes pa -pa 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 and the person's like heart explodes and they <laughs> fall to the ground, right? Ty Lee, oh, I just got chills. Yes, baby. Um, uh, a sense monk, like a senses monk, like your senses are heightened to a crazy level, almost like spidey sense type level of things and your awareness of self and the world around you and all this other kind of stuff. Um, astral self, spirits, out of body trance where you meditate, your body leaves your, 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 your spirit leaves your body and it can fight uh, outside of your body. Um, these three are kind of tied together. A sumo wrestler, monk, pugilist, brawler, fighter, street fighter, specialized monk tank. What? Um, uh, drunken master, four elements monk, uh, a yin and yang, like life and death, a phoenix monk, a sun soul monk, uh, ascended, uh, it's a, a divine type of connection, Mer uh, 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 peace, mercy, enlightenment of healing and, 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 and alleviating and, and fixing and balancing key, almost like waterbenders in Avatar, how they can like realign your, uh, all that stuff. Uh, and then there is a Dragon Ball Z monk. It literally says DBZ monk, <laughs> which is not going to be the name of it at all, but you get the idea. Uh, a light and dark, which also taps into the yin and yang situation, uh, which I need to move that up here uh, and change that color to brown. Oh, not gray, brown. Okay, cool. So yes, there is uh, a little bit of a, a sneak peek into some monk stuff. So uh, there's that. And then uh, the sumo thing, what, tank monk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, street fighter, yes, 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 yes. Um, and then, oh my gosh, Ace. I'm gonna answer the Ace's question. Ace, I saw, I see you. Uh, I really, really want to do a Friday live stream. I really wanna do a Friday live stream. It has been three weeks since I've done one and I'm not going to be able to do one this week because uh, my son is going to a like this like digging thing. It's like this. Uh, it was a birthday party thing that then got changed. into. it's on Friday uh, and it's a where there's like construction trucks and he's obsessed with construction trucks. So we're going to that and it happens in the middle of Friday. Yeah. So uh, uh, I, I might just take a hiatus on those until the kickstarter launches and then pick them back up it honestly is might might be what happened because i just can't catch a break on fridays uh to be able to do them so yeah um uh wait wait um uh denver denver episode 33 of curse of strad please i need to know how it ends uh, i made a video of denver on curse of strad uh, th three weeks ago there's a video of, of me telling the story of how it ended so go check that out uh, that's what's up. And then uh, Sumo for sure. So late session zero for local DC 20 game night. What? What? Chris Campion, you had a DC 20 local game night. Oh my gosh, guys, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Um, we are doing it. That's crazy. Uh, gotta do, be a dungeon dad too. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. All right. So um, we got it back up here. Now we're here. All right, cool. Uh, back to the questions. Uh, did I miss anything? Question anything about Monk? Okay, yeah, there you go. So there's Almiri's subclasses. Synthetic Pacifist has a question. Um, are there plans to inc include a construct uh, constructed heritage in the main release of the game that would be safe for future expansion? Some a construct. Ah, yes. Um, uh, that the the different ancestries in DC twenty um, uh, are are still up in the air as far as which ones will make it into the core game or not. There's probably going to be some stretch goals for some of them. Like some stretch goals for some of the uh, uh, some of the ancestries, uh, and construct is on the list. Like there is a construct, uh, uh, there's a construct, you know, alpha basically of of that. And uh, if it doesn't, there's going to be plenty of uh, patron content that has the early early versions of them, the non polished versions of them, just so people can kind of play around and kind of tinker around and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that is, that is on the docket, but it's definitely not in the core rule book yet, but it potentially may be depending on how things go. Um, so heck yeah. Um, and then, uh, I did, you did a video on Dropbox, not YouTube. What? Ending of Strahd. What? No, I, I made, it was a whole, whole, whole YouTube video. Hold up. Y'all are, y'all are making me go crazy right now. Uh, you, yeah, Strahd. Strahd and the dragon. Yeah. Yeah, this thing. Strahd and the dragon. 
Strahd versus Dragon. There we go. Boom. There it is. There it is. Copy the link. There's there's the there's the YouTube video. So I got you. I got you. Um cool. Uh what else we got here? All right. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. More super chats. Uh, Shonen, thank you for the super chat. Will heavy, brutal success fail be a thing for all checks? I mean, how will they officially refer to buy fives at the table? Uh, terminology is important. Um, uh, in general, as far as we're talking about skill challenge and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can absolutely say heavy and brutal. Uh, I have for a while. Uh, I said like, that's a heavy success, brutal. Sometimes in like when I when I run like a social skill challenge, for example, it does feel weird to say brutal <laughs> because it's such a, a visceral uh, offensive you know hostile word um so i usually say five over 10 over 15 over that's 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 five over 10 over and i usually say 10 over five over you know i, I just say the say the word uh so uh, i think that type of terminology is going to get locked in and defined might be codified or it might just be some slang that you use yourself consistently uh but in general my tip for that would be i say five over 10 over uh, 15 over um so if the DC was 14 and somebody got a 26 or something, I'd be like 26, the DC is 14. So that's five over, that's 10 over, right? Um, so you would have one success point and two more. That's three success points. Oh my God, right? Um, you get the idea. So uh, they're shown in. And then Luis Caesar. Oh, what's up, dude? Uh, Spellblade coming in uh, in place of Paladin 0.7, right? 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 <laughs> No, definitely not. Uh, uh, the Spellblade is going. Is Spellblade is a near and dear to my heart. The Spellblade is a very careful. I am being so gentle and so cautious and so uh, protective of the Spellblade uh, because I know how much the Paladin means to people, and I know I have to do the Spellblade right for the people, for you guys, right? Uh, so the Spellblade, uh, the Spellblade would maybe appear in the zero point eight beta. For the Kickstarter backers, uh, depending on if the if that if the if the Spellblade makes it into the core game, right? Um, so there's that. Um, uh, but yeah, nice try, nice try, Louise. Uh, and then bold, not bald. How many subclasses are you aiming for the full release of the base game? Which subclasses are you most excited for that you have that we haven't heard of yet? Uh, this seems like this is like a uh, this is a um, uh, this is a question that gets asked every live stream, and I do love this question. So my answer to the question is the Bard Pressure Point, the pr the Pressure Point Key Blocker uh, Monk. Uh, if you've seen like Avatar, Ty Lee, uh, Aang has the ability to block a key, uh, block people's bending. Uh, uh, Amon, which is from season one of Legend of Korra. Uh, there's lots of really cool stuff, and the overall fantasy of a monk just hitting point, hitting a point, hitting a point, hitting a point, and then like, uh, like your insides breaking and stuff. I love that, right? Uh, like the level 10, the level nine capstone of that thing would be some sort of thing where they just like, and then they just like shut down someone's heart or do some super crazy true damage or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love that. So there's that. Uh, and then the core game will have three subclasses for every class. I can pretty much tell you that with confidence. Uh, the core game will have three subclasses for every class, right? So there's that. Um, Cool, cool, cool. And then, whoa, 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 wait, wait, uh, Oh, Shonen, another super chat from Sh Shonen. Gosh. Uh, this Sunday here in Peru, starting my DC20 campaign, DC20 worldwide. Ah, world emoji, heart emoji, uh, plus dungeon baby support fee. Ah, appreciate you. Appreciate you, dude. Appreciate you, dude. Always love the dungeon baby support fees. Uh, kids are real. Kids are no joke. That's what's up. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Uh, it's so funny. Uh, the Spellblade is not the same as the Paladin. No, uh, but it's it's uh, serving the same uh, class fantasy. It can and more and far more, which is another reason why the Paladin got cut, because the Paladin is very, very uh, uh, specific. If you really take a step back and think about how specific a Paladin's class fantasy is, it's a subclass class fantasy, not a class fantasy. Um, but yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, got it done, nice. Okay, so back to the, oh, wow. Wow, we are in overtime already. So uh, mor morale system, comment, super chat. Uh, the morale system, uh, no, I cannot super chat. Or I, can, <laughs> I cannot comment on the morale system uh, in the last five minutes of a live stream. Uh, that's quite a, a big uh, concept. Uh, basically, the morale system I have used a couple of times in one shots when when characters have role played into that and leaned into a uh, that version. Basically, uh, it's a you can have an alternate health point system of a, a character's morale, which is loosely 
connected mechanically to their charisma and how you know how much their grit or whatever and if their morale breaks they run away or they can turn to your side or other things at the dungeon master's uh, disposal so uh it's a morale ch system where you make checks against it whether it be intimidation or social checks through role play and saying things or making deals or whatever and you can break it break an NPC's morale uh, and it's actually giving Dungeon Masters tools to be able to have the conflicts be resolved in that way instead of just being like oh figure it out Dungeon Masters <laughs> so yeah um, and then uh, oh Jakku thank you for that Jakku I see you um, all right so I am going to set an alarm for the 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 uh, wait let me pull up the questions let me pull up the questions and we are going into rapid fire and go uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, does media lie? Question Is the multi classing just fighter slash caster, or does it have to include ranger rogues in the caster mix? What uh, is the multi class just fighter slash caster, or does that include ranger rogues and the, uh, then a caster mix? You can multi class between anything. So I'm confused by the question Does media lie? Like, you can multi class any class can multi class into any other class. All you have to do is at level two, you get a multi class talent. Or sorry, at level two, you get a talent and you can choose to spend that talent on a multi-class talent, which lets you go take any classes first level features. You can pick one feature from any classes first level feature. So uh, you can do that anywhere, any anybody. So there's no there's no sort of caster fighter, you know, class limitations in that way. Uh, Sing and smash. You got to uh, keep in mind that you're going to want one of those for everyone at your table. Can you actually expect someone paying two hundred dollars for everyone to have a tracker? Well, that's the thing. Like, so the I I can keep in mind as best I can. But at the end of the day, like these cost a certain amount and I can only get so many of them. And that's the whole that's the whole dilemma that I, 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 I set the whole thing for. So, uh, well, two hundred dollars for everyone. I'm assuming you're meaning a table of four, meaning these to be fifty dollars. And I don't see these being fifty dollars. I think that would be a lot. And I absolutely think uh, that. Uh, especially when things are having to do with shipping is if there there's going to be a uh, I should have said this at the beginning there's going to be an add-on for a bundle of five you know there's going to be an add-on for like five of these right and that will be cheaper per one than just buying one right um so there's that as well um and then uh split road games uh question can a player players can spend ap to gain advantage on ability checks does something uh, prevent this out of combat? Otherwise, what's stopping players from getting triple advantage ability checks out of combat? There's an entire section uh, in the, in the uh, combat resources. There's an entire section that talks about this. Action points only exist in combat. This concept will be elaborated on extensively in the main books because people keep talking about this. It would be ludicrous and an insane uh, way to play any game and that's not the vision for this game at all and I don't think it would be good healthy spot of the game if characters could just at whim give themselves triple advantage when they're walking down the street right um, the reason why you can give yourself advantage and push yourself to the limits in combat when your life or someone else's life or high stakes are at the in, in the case adrenaline's pumping through your veins your life's on the line oh my god if you wanted to run a mile because you woke up in the morning and it's a Monday and you need to go work out and you run a mile compared to, oh my gosh, there's a tiger chasing me or, oh my gosh, someone's in danger. I need to go save. You're going to run a lot faster. Even if it took a mile, that's going to be, you're going to be able to perform higher. So in general, that's the, the two second version of that. And I could go on a whole soapbox rant about it, but um, outside of combat, there is no such thing as action points. Um, you can do take actions to cast spells. You can make attacks. You can talk to you can use your feet. You know, sure. There's things that can happen, but um, there is a whole section there talking about that. And I, I, already spent a whole bunch of overtime just on this one question because it is such an important question uh, that I want to make sure the community understands uh, completely because it is it is a point a point of people that have gone like oh what about yeah, and I'm gonna make sure it's even more clear in the future um, and then uh, what's going on Ironside question can you spend multiple action points to stack multiple power attacks aka spend four action points to attack and then use three action points of power attack? yes Power attack is the only maneuver you can take multiple times, but you can make an attack add, and add extra maneuvers onto that attack. Yes. In general, you can only do one maneuver per attack, but power attack is the one maneuver that you can do multiple times and you can stack it up. Um, Jeffrey, uh, will we have any update to monster resources? Nowadays, a more clear explanation or even examples of monster... 
is the only thing missing for me to uh, play a full campaign. A video or a PDF will do. Yes. So Jeffrey, um, uh, there is a monster guide right now. It is a, I, I, I wanted to put it together and give you all something of how to make monsters, how to run monsters and stuff like that. And it's part of the bundle that you get whenever you buy the alpha, right? So there's that. Uh, so that is the PDF. Uh, I plan on making a video about how about monsters and all that kind of stuff, but the full, the full disclaimer, and this is the final question. So there's that. Uh, and it's the final question. So go ahead in the chat right now. Uh, tell me your, tell me the, the monk subclass that you're most excited for, and you can make up one yourself. Uh, so right now say something in the chat. You can say a number, you can say a word, you can say your favorite monk subclass. Um, and, uh, uh, you'll enter into the giveaway cause you got to say something in order to get into the giveaway, right? So DBZ, DBZ, DBZ. Wow. Wow. I see what y'all are doing there. I see what y'all are doing there. Um, Daredevil. Ooh, that's cool. Ninja. All right. Anyway, uh, focus. So um, uh, the monster situation. So the, in my opinion, the last, in my game designing perspective opinion, the last thing that should be created in a system are the monsters. Because the game has to work. The game system has to be functional. The player characters have to be solid and balanced at level one, and then they build, and you establish the player character's progression establishes the power curve. A player characters establish how strong people are, and then you can see the monsters, and then you can build up monsters and see how are the monsters are, and then you can know and dial in and tune the monsters based on the player characters. But if you have both and you introduce both and now you're scaling both and then this is too strong and that's it it just i think it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a mess so right now i i understandably don't have a lot of things to hand you for resources on monsters because in my opinion the game is going to be much more healthy much more balanced with us purposely waiting for that so that everything can be in line and then we see the big picture and we can create a perfect monster system like a puzzle piece that clicks right in and we have the monster system that we can make in that way so that it's very easy to balance encounters, very easy to scale encounters, very easy to take a monster and, and dial it up or down. Take a, there are some monsters in DC20 that are already like DC20 exclusive special monsters, but take a monster, dial it up or down and and you be able to do that and have a system to be able to do that so uh there's that uh we say someone want a cody cook wants a sexy monk well that's uh, that would be a wild subclass um <laughs> so there we go all right uh that is the live here is the giveaway uh we have winner 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 uh, who's going to be the winner this time? Whatever the winner is, message my moderators on Discord. And it's Nico. Let's go, Nico. Let's go. Uh, so Nico, uh, message any of my moderators. They're the ones in the red names on Discord. Not the pink names, but the red names. Uh, message one of them, and they will get you uh, hooked up, set up, and good to go. Uh, and we will keep this, this, uh, this thing going. And next week, yeah, next week. Um, uh, I hopefully after this next week, we'll have even more updates, even more cool stuff to show you guys as we get closer and closer to the Kickstarter. So, Ooh, Ooh, you still haven't gotten your 0 0.6 PDF. Then what are you doing? We're going to get you. We got, we will get it to you freaking right now. So Nico, Nico right now, message wolves right now. He will message me and I will immediately send it to you right now. So let's, let's go jump on it, Nico. Let's go. Um, <laughs> oh, you still, oh, if you have, yeah, 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 you already, you already have, uh, uh, first of all, if you don't have it, you already won the lottery. I already won the lottery. I'm so confused, Nico. Nico, we'll get you taken care of and talk about it. And if you want to like do some sort of giveaway where you give it away, we'll do that in the next live stream as well. So, uh, so heck yeah, I got you, Nico. We'll make sure you're taken care of. Um, and what a nice dude. What a nice dude. So anyway, uh, I will see y'all next week. Stay creative. I think I said the box.